Deep into the heart of Kalimantan, canals have been gouged out of these precious peatlands by Indonesia's timber barons. Peatlands cover less than 5% of the planet's land surface, but absorb up to 30% of the world's carbon emissions. Peatland forests like those here in Borneo are the most important ecosystems in the world when it comes to absorbing and storing climate polluting carbon dioxide. There's no other ecosystem in the world that can absorb so much CO2 carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The Australian government is likely to help fund these efforts to dam and preserve deforested peat, which when drained, dries and burns, making Indonesia the world's third biggest emitter of greenhouse gases. Here too, a site now incredibly rare, an orangutan surviving in the wild, where only thousands remain. This is what they're making way for, palm oil plantations, chasing a boom in demand for biofuels, and along the way, killing up to 50 orangutans a week. There is actually here in Kalimantan 3 million hectares of degraded land or grasslands that could be used for palm oil. But there is this need for the palm oil industry to get that extra profit from the, from the, um, from the trees. And by cutting down this primary forest, um, which is prime orangutan habitat, obviously um, they're more or less killing them off. Lorna Drosha nielsen runs a rehabilitation centre for central Kalimantan's orangutan orphans. She questions biofuel demand, driven by the green logic that palm oil's carbon emissions are cancelled out by the carbon absorbed by the palm oil trees, when every year the lives of more than 5,000 orangutans are cancelled out too. We're trying to find win-win solutions. Uh, we cannot just say orangutans are more important than people know. We need to look at it as a win-win solution uh, concept that we have to try and find. The word orangutan literally translates as person of the forest and they share 97% of our DNA. And it is a sobering thought that as humans confront the challenges of climate change, humanity is also allowing the annihilation of these distant cousins' last natural habitats within the next 15 years. Jeff Thompson, Lateline.